Hey, this is Derek Jordan. Welcome to the World Fusion Show, where we bring you the leading innovators in world fusion music. Today, my guests are Trinalisa and Frederick from the band Tone of Voice Orchestra, a very interesting group. And uh, they are based in Denmark and they have four singers and six instrumentalists and do a really cool kind of music. It's song oriented, but it's got a lot of instrumentation. Uh, and I want to we'll get to it, but I just want to say, welcome Trinalisa and Frederick to the World Fusion Show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, it's so great to have you. And I discovered you on Facebook, of all things. And uh, through, I so think, it does do some good. <laughs> ethno, ethno cloud, maybe, or some post. Um, I, scour, I scour the social media for wonderful people like yourselves. And occasionally I get lucky and find someone. Um, but you guys are really unusual and really different um, than a lot of groups that I've heard. And um, I want to just ask you a little bit, just to, before we get into your music, about your background and about, you know, how you got into music and, you know, wh how that came about for you. You want to start? Um, yeah. I'm a singer-songwriter. I usually work, you know, with a guitar and write my songs. And I've been doing that since I was, you know, a teenager, basically. And um, the thing with tone of voice is orchestra is that it's a different arena because I get to sing in a group because I usually sing on my own, you know, as a soloist. So it's a really different situation that I find very inspiring. And also the thing of, you know, writing for four voices is, is super cool. And um, yeah, I just started out as everybody else playing in high school bands and, you know, playing pop music, rock music and stuff like that. Yeah. Very cool. What about you, Frederick? Um, I've been trying to reach the keys of the piano as far back as I can remember, actually, which means I come from a home with a piano. My father uh, played jazz piano, like at home, not professionally. And um, I had a very wonderful um, music teacher in the school early on who uh, taught me to play music with enthusiasm. Yeah. Uh, and so, and, and <laughs> best also- way. I tell you, that's the best way to play music usually. <laughs> yes, she was very enthusiastic and she really generated energy in the room, uh, which had a huge uh, importance to me. And as I said, my father played and loved jazz and exposed me to jazz music early on. and took me to clubs when I was 10 years already. And uh, so it's been jazz for me ever since. And then after meeting Twain Lee, also delved into other areas of, of music. Yeah, fantastic. Now I'd love to go to our first video. And this is a song from your upcoming CD called Barking Up the Wrong Tree. And um, a very, very interesting video. So tell us a little bit about that. That song in particular is a, a good example of, of the genre fluid sort of vibe that is to what we do because we write together, but not in the room together. So one person does something like Frederick here did a beat and with a special vibe around it and the hurdy-gurdy. And I listened to that and I thought, oh, that's sort of urban. And so I made like an R&B hook line in my own imagination. And then Frederick did something completely different because he was somewhere in Latin America with violin. And uh, and then I came back and did a little like um, a, a verse, but because of the hurdy-gurdy, which is a, a drone instrument, you can't really move key. And so it turned out for me, like I am doing a rap. I know everybody else would think that's not a rap, but for, you know, like a melody with very few movements and, um, when we talk about the song, Frederick said, oh, it's, it has this Latin American feeling. And I say, oh, it's an indie folk with an R&B echo. You know? <laughs> so we're like, we don't even know what it is exactly. We're doing. We just, what we great. do here in the end is just, you know, letting ourselves be inspired by whatever. Mm -hmm. so. right. well, you, you can't even agree on what you're doing. And that's no, fine. No. <laughs> that's fine because, you know, it, things are just, there's so many different influences that we bring in. <laughs> consciously and subconsciously in our writing. And it's, it's, you know, great to just 
you know, let them out, let them come on out and let the world figure it out. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's also kind of the me method of the world fusion show. And what we do here is like, you know, sometimes you can categorize things and sometimes you, you really, it's uh -huh. not helpful to do that. Well, why don't we go to the video right now and check this wonderful video out? Okay. <laughs> and Frederick from the band Tone of Voice Orchestra. Very cool video. Now, you were saying that's like uh, got the Copenhagen vi vibe, <laughs> nighttime Copenhagen vibe going yeah. on. It's kind of spooky <laughs> out there, I think. <laughs> it was so cold that nobody else, you know, wanted to go out. So we <laughs> just had the city to ourselves. <laughs> that's right. That's very cool. Um, anyway, um, we I wanted to ask you about your inspiration and concept for the group, especially the singing, because that's really unusual. Um, 
as a, a so-called pop group. You're, you're doing a more choral vocal style. Um, tell us about how you came to, to uh, feel to do that. You want to talk about choral vocal yeah, style? Yeah, um, originally it was Frederick's idea that we should be many vocals. And um, for me, as I said before, I'm usually singing on my own. It was just really, really cool to be part of something. And we have listened, I have listened to uh, a lot of music from, you know, vocal music, like Eastern European, American, Eastern European vocal traditions, which is like a little bit Bulgarian, you know, very ah, straight sounds. I listened to um, country and Western and uh, Americana, three part harmonies. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just, I've just always listened to, a lot of different vocal traditions, which is also typical for these arrangements that we are not in one particular um, tradition. We kind of switch from song to song. Mm -hmm. And uh, that makes it a bit uh, difficult because you have to talk about what kind of sound do we want here? Yeah, but you mean talking amongst yourselves? The yes, singers, amongst right? the singers. Is it, you know, do we want this straight? Do we want vibrato or it's right. just, um, yeah. But it's a lot of fun because uh, we get to do so many different things mm -hmm. with our voices. And being four also gives a feeling of um, like empowerment because as four of us, you know, adult yeah. big women, and we're like, <laughs> so yeah. that sort of uh, also gives me inspiration for the lyrics because you can't write a lyric about like my little love story if you're like four adult women going, wow. Right. right. <laughs> so it's, um, it's a wonderful sound you guys have. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this next video we're going to see, which is another cut from your uh, upcoming CD. Do you want to hear about the video or the music? What, whatever you want to say. Just to yeah, okay. well, well, first of all, the music is also sort of this is our default setting, so to speak, for writing music for this band. This is the first tune we made for the first gig we play. And uh, this is a song we go back to when we have to check if we are still sort of uh, on course or um, true to our core. Core, mm -hmm. yeah. Original core, yeah. So, which means a lot of uh, rhythm. And then of course the four part, in this case, two parts mostly yeah. singing, but with four women. So like and the groove is an important, of course. Yeah. The groove is an important thing yeah. in most of our songs, actually, yeah. which is also typical here. Yeah. Yeah. And hook well, lines, it, the hook line is important and not just yeah. Hmm. But yeah, you know, the hook is very strong. <laughs> 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 and it keeps coming at you over and over. Anyway, yeah. let's go to the video right now and check this wonderful Ooh. song out.
with Trinalise and Frederick and the Tone of Voice Orchestra. Um, very uh, intense video, right? I mean, that's kind of cool. Like the hook is like pretty strong. So um, now um, I wanted to ask you about how you guys came up with your concept for all these interesting different musicians. You have bagpipes, you have uh, Hurdy Gurdy, you've got sax, violin. So tell us how you brought these people together. Well, um First of all, um, I had come into contact with a couple of young uh, folk musicians, Danish folk musicians, and uh, I wanted to do something with the, with these guys. So that was uh, the drone player, meaning the hurdy gurdy and bagpipes player, and the violinist. Uh, also, I like um, music with a pronounced beat, yeah. and I have before had bands with two drummers. Mm -hmm. So that was a given too. Uh, and then, of course, the idea of the four singers, myself on saxophone, um, because, well, that's what I play. And my role is sometimes playing um, melodic lines, but mostly playing uh, improvised solos, which is another important thing in, in our um, concept, so to say, the improvisation, which makes... We, which takes up more room uh, when we play live. Yeah, right. yeah. I'm a big fan of improvisation, actually. Um, now, we're going to go to our next video, which is a clip from a live recording you did in a studio and shows the band members all playing their instruments and particularly focuses on a great fiddle uh, solo by your, your fiddler, which to me has a real Scandinavian flavor to it. Um, it tell, us, tell us a little bit about this, what we're going to hear. You want to think? Yeah, that, that's originally uh, inspired by um, a Swedish ancient cow horn signals, you know, one they play for uh, when they to get bring the cows home, mm -hmm. which uh, Frederick found somewhere. And um, that, that's probably why you hear the Scandinavian sound, yeah. because it's very Scandinavian. Mm -hmm. And it is, of course, our Scandinavian roots are in there in a lot of smaller places here it's really the major influence mm. you know yeah yeah okay let's go to the video right now and check this wonderful thing out
back with Trina Lisa and Frederick and the Tone of Voice Orchestra. Now, we I just want to ask you guys, you know, a little bit about your philosophy or anything else you'd like to share with our viewers. Okay, the philosophy of uh, our of the music for this band is uh, that we by mixing together so many different things and having this unusual instrumentation, we kind of um, get to decide what the rules are because we, we we made the playing field, if you may, yeah, like that, mm -hmm. um, ourselves. So we get to decide yeah. what, what's appropriate, mm -hmm. uh, which is easier than trying to emulate some style that you maybe not are grown up with or, or something I don't like think we do it because it's easy. We do it because we have all these inspirations <laughs> that we just done. Uh, yeah. You're curious. I mean, you know. Yeah, I'm curious. Definitely. We're definitely it curious. It shows your it shows that about you guys. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I want to go to our very our final video, which is another clip from this highlights reel. And I chose this video because the bagpiper is killing it and he's really great. And I, I wanted to show that aspect of your instrumentation in group. So let's go to the video right now. Did you like those bagpipes? Boy, they were great. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> hey, so um, yeah, thank you. I just want to thank you, Trina Lisa and Frederick from the Tone of Voice. Thank you for Orchestra. having us. <laughs> being here and sharing your wonderful, interesting, unusual music. And um, yeah, so you have a record coming out. Tell us about that. It comes out on the 11th of March, 2022, and uh, comes out on the vinyl and CD. And we hope that that, album will take us um, to America to tour at some point. Mm. So we hope to be seeing you all there. Well, I'd love to meet you and, and hang out with you guys. So mm. um, yeah, um, anyway, let's um, thank you again so much and we will be in touch. Thanks so much. Hey, this is Derek Jordan. Thank you for joining us again today on the World Fusion Show. It's great to have you and we have so many more great shows and wonderful guests coming up. Um, it's been uh, just incredible to have your support and please share with your friends um, all of these shows 
And so we can keep spreading this great music all over the planet. I want to give a big thank you to our sponsors, McKenzie Family Charitable Trust, Chris Pratt, Nancy Feinberg, and Ron Dans for your generous support. And remember, as we always say, think globally, listen locally, and support independent music. <laughs>